Jaggedy jaggedy jag. Just where we got to. Now just make sure that when you do this, dee ya da da, dee ya da da. Doesn't do this. Okay. Yeah. Different ballet. <laughs> and one, two, love the umbrella. Four, five, and six, and seven. And easy, easy. With this Alain solo, the steps are not normal. Eight and a shoulder. He's a naive person, never been into the world before. Very good, yeah. Ashton used this in the choreography to portray what his character is. That's why the steps are unusual. It's odd ballet dancing, all of it. Very odd. They're almost, um, vaudeville steps. And one, and two. Front, front. Ashton did choreograph during the war for musicals and vaudeville, so he was used to doing that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, this three. particular solo, the way it's being choreographed, there's something on every count, every half beat. All right, OK. Yeah, so, Ludo, it's a bit spongy. That's where I count like a lunatic yeah. most of the time, uh, to achieve it, so that when they're in performance, they can still hear my counting in their brain because it's been drilled into them. Silly da, and da, silly da, and da, and one, and two, and three, and four. All right, OK. It's too classical you're doing. This is good, but then you're doing the most beautiful classical assemblé. It needs to look more awkward. Because they are so beautifully classically trained, probably more difficult for them to learn those roles these days. Yeah, exactly. Yes, more odd. When the role was created on Alexander Grant, he was more of a character dancer than a classical dancer. So, I mean, he was ideal for the role. I first danced in the ballet, dare I tell you this, in 1967. So I've been with the ballet for many years. I'm sort of soaked in it, really. I'm sort of soaked in Ashton. And uh, what a great thing it's been, you know, because they're great works, they're masterpieces. I did work with Fred myself on Fee, which was lovely. It was just nice having him in the room. There are still many of us around who worked with Frederick Ashton and I hope understood him. I like to think that the company understand him his head, round his shoulders. By doing the work. One, two, three, one, two, three. Staying true to Ashton is difficult. The spirit is in the movement, the romance, and the musicality. The musicality, more than anything, is where you can stay true to Fred. I enjoy all the pas de deux. They're always fun. They have nice big lifts. I think the audiences enjoy it. to match your partner's line really makes a pas de deux look very special. A good partner will always be a reflection of his ballerina. I think it's one of the most challenging roles for both Colas and Lees. It requires a great deal of stamina.
it's classical ballet. <laughs> We're all striving for perfection. Doesn't exist, but that's what we're striving for. Do you want to leave it there for today?